Hey guys, this is another pick a card reading. This is a message from your higher self. It's going to be quite a short reading because um, I haven't really got a lot of energy at the moment. Um, but yeah, so choose from either pearls one, two or three. If you would like a personal reading with me or any of my other services, feel free to check out my Etsy shop um, or contact me via email. I will link all of that in the description box and comment section. And if you would like to leave me a donation as an energy exchange, um, feel free to like this video, comment on this video um, or use my donation link. Of course, you don't have to. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so you can choose more than one pile and feel free to check out my other readings. This is a message from your future self. So let's get started. So group one, this is your message from your future self. So to start with, we have red roses um, and we have the stag. So the stag represents masculine energy. Um, so whether you're male or um, or female, um, you're going to be coming, your future self basically wants you to know that you're going to be taking charge of a situation and you're going to be moving more into masculine energy, which is the energy of action and go forth and follow through. Um, so if you have been in a time of um, procrastination, putting things off, not taking charge, kind of holding yourself back, if you felt stagnant, your future self now is coming through to say, there is something going to come along soon that's going to push you forward into action and it's going to feel like a release and it's going to be a really good kind of event or situation that essentially kicks you up the arse to move along. So it's like the universe is trying to bring you in this message right now to say things are about to speed up for you, things are about to shift and move for you and things are actually working out for you. Um, when I think of the rose, I also think of the thorns. So I feel like your future self wants you to know whatever it was that made you bleed, fig figuratively speaking, like the, the thorn on the rose, whatever made you bleed, you're going to overcome um, and you are going to blossom into this beautiful red rose. Um, for someone you might wear the colour red or you might, the, you might like the colour, um, you might like red lipstick or you could meet someone who loves the colour red or red could be significant. Um, red is also the um, root chakra colour um, which is all about um, grounding ourselves, anchoring ourselves into the present moment, stabilising ourselves, our finances and our mental health. Um, the root chakra is red so if you have had any issues with um, things like stability in mind, body or spirit or materially, then working with the root chakra will be very, very beneficial. Also, the stag is um, a strong, dominant animal, um, but they're also very loving. Um, but you'll quite often, you know, see them running through forests or running through the road because they don't really have a sense of fear unless there's like a, you know, a predator near. Um, and that rhymed. For some of you, your higher self, your future self wants you to start poetry, whether it be writing poetry or reading poetry, there's something there for you. Um, and then not only that, please look into the uh, spirit animal, the stag, the white stag. So you might start seeing the white stag in dreams or imagery or your mind's eye, or you might just see like normal stag colours or deer symbolism. Anytime you see the deer or the stag, that is your higher self trying to get your um, get you to focus and to be um, more responsible within your life, within your own thoughts and within your own path. Um, so we have, so your future self also wants you to know, so if you look at the pose here, so it's a stag man, okay, and the man has a six pack. So your future self is asking that you take action towards some sort of fitness goals um, or some sort of exercise that can basically make you feel better within yourself. Even if it's five minutes a day of exercise, any form of exercise, it could be qigong, it could be yoga, it could be jogging, it could be swimming, it could be cycling. Um, it could just be going up and down your stairs, but doing it like um, a few times in a row if you have the mobility to do so. This will really help you to gain focus um, and ground yourself. I've just seen angel number 444. Please look that up for additional messages. Um, and then also, if you look at the pose, this is like the meditation or the yogi pose. Um, 
that is often seen in you know meditative practices or yoga practices so even just sitting like this once a day um, if you have the mobility to do that um, and just kind of breathing in and out and grounding yourself grounding your breath will help you your future self is saying this and your higher self um, so we have the sum so your future self wants you to know you're going to be happy over the next three weeks this is when the changes are being implemented and it's you it's you taking charge of your life um and your future self wants you to know that your future self is proud of you so well done guys amazing and here we have you're ready so your future self wants you to know you're ready you're ready to be taking these changes within your life and implementing them you're ready to feel a lot more happier within yourself and within your life the sun is the best card you can get in tarot okay it's the most happiest and you're taking the lead of your life um within yourself mind body spirit career whatever it is relationships you're taking some sort of um control over certain things within your life and because you're doing that you're feeling better within yourself you're ready you're ready right now to implement those actions you're ready for change and your future self wants you to know that they are proud of you um, and you're making great strides within your well-being, within your mental health, um, within your self-esteem. Um, and over these next couple of weeks, you're going to be feeling so happy and content within yourself. Um, so yeah, guys, well done. Your future self is so proud of you. I know I keep reiterating that, but it keeps coming through. For some of you, maybe you doubt yourself a little bit. Well, in the future, you're not going to. In the future, you're going to be trusting yourself and your life a lot more. <laughs> anyway, guys, please let me know down in the comments section if you found this helpful. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Um, remember to turn the bell on to be notified every time I upload. And have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. This is a message from your future self. So... We have the horse. A brown horse could be of significance or actually I'm hearing a Sagittarius or someone with fire sign placements. Um, also, you could be seeing elephants. Elephants right now is your spirit animal. Elephants also represent tribe and walking together and putting um, your right foot forward um, and moving ahead. Um, and elephants also to me, I don't know why, when I think of elephants, I think of Kalima um the the you know she's like the goddess of transformation and clearing away what no longer serves so i think your higher self wants you to know you're stepping into the energy of clearance you're taking slow but methodical steps or you will be towards clearing what doesn't serve you um you're opening up your heart chakra and you're releasing certain things from the past um particularly over the next five or ten years you're releasing what happened in those years um but you're taking a methodical approach and i'm hearing your future self wants you to look at things within your life right and look at things in your life that you deem as bad or negative or toxic the problem area okay and your future self is coming in to say you're going to find the solution. Pick the three top problems or what you deem as problems or negatives in your life. Three things. Pick three things, okay? The problem. What are the three problems within your life right now? Then methodically work your way through each of those problems to find a solution. Now, you could work with someone to help you do that. But your higher self, your future self is saying you can do it, okay? Um, of course, you can ask for outside help. That's totally fine. If you feel that you want that assistance, that's fine. But your higher self, your future self is telling you, you have all the tools you need necessarily, uh, necessary to help yourself, to help yourself release, to help yourself overcome these struggles, these burdens, these negatives. The solutions are in your hands. Um, so yeah, because here he, um, he is holding a coin with his hand. So for some of you, it could literally be one of your issues is money or finance. Um, and you are, your future self wants you to know that's not going to be a burden over the next two months. So if it's finance, over the next two months, a solution will present itself. But you have to look for the solutions um, and find ways that can help you. 
Um, if you're struggling with that, put it out into the universe. Do a manifestation spell um, or some sort of um, cleansing water ritual. And as you cleanse away what doesn't serve, you say to the universe, please send me some financial help or areas in which I can study or help myself to bring in more financial means to help support myself to live an abundant um, life, you know, to, to support myself, my children, my, you know, my husband, da, 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 myself, whatever it is. Um, if you are, you know, suffering with that. I'm also hearing your future self wants you to work on any sort of lack consciousness. Um, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but feel free to YouTube lack consciousness and how to get out of it. You can use um, EFT, which is tapping um, for any sort of lack consciousness. And it will basically help you to rewire your brain to release that. You have to do it every day. And it's not like you do it once and you're fixed. It's, you know, you have to continually work on it and work out what is the root cause that is holding you back within your life. Um, I do also offer life coaching. It's not currently up on my Etsy shop yet because I've got a five month old child. Um, but if you need any sort of help with that, feel free to email me um, and I might be able to assist you um, or at least send you some sort of resources. Um, it, it, you know, if you're struggling to pay and, and finances and stuff, that's totally fine. Um, reach out if you need to. Also, your higher self wants you to eat more fruits, more veg, more grapes, and it's going to help you to feel a lot more focused within yourself. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about taking um, a slow, methodical approach. You will get there in the end. Your higher self wants you to know, well, you got there, but you're not there yet, but you will get there. Um, and to just carry on believing in yourself and know that whatever's going on in your life right now you will overcome it it's just um gonna take a little bit of time like i say if, if it's material for a lot of you i think it's material um it's two months um and you'll overcome that that uh, you know difficulty that halt within your life um then we have forgiveness so your higher self wants you to forgive yourself um this isn't to do with another person your higher self is coming through now and asking you to forgive yourself. You're not a failure. And you deserve to live a life where you're happy um, and where you're not beating yourself up for past mistakes, for something you've done in your adolescence maybe or a few years ago or, you know, maybe your life isn't where you want it to be. Your higher self wants you to be more compassionate with yourself and more loving and work on forgiving yourself. Now, ways in which we can forgive ourselves, if it's something to do with our childhood, work on inner child healing. If it's something to do with another person that you want to forgive yourself for, um, look towards the lessons. What was it that you learned about yourself from that situation? Then look at it from a higher perspective and go, okay, but how could I be more kind to myself to do with this situation. Um, not only that, you could work with um, YouTube Louise Hayes. She has some really good um, forgiveness meditations and the Hoa Poa Pono prayer. If you just put that into YouTube, working with that prayer, you know, a couple of times a week, three times a week will also help you. Um, and when you're doing that prayer, visualize yourself. Whatever aspect of yourself you wish to forgive, visualize that self, whether it's your younger self, um, you in your physical form now or from a few years ago visualize that person you need to forgive um but for a lot of you it is yourself um and you deserve forgiveness you deserve to be free you deserve to be happy um and you are good enough um anyway guys um please like share and subscribe let me know down in the comment section if you found this helpful um and yeah, have a beautiful, lovely, best day, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. This is a message from your future self um, or your higher self. So with the Empress card, for some of you, if you're female or, or actually or, or male, you could be starting a family soon and your future self wants you to know this. If you have been asking for signs about whether you're going to have children, yes, you will. Um, and the person that you next meet will be the person you have children with um, if you're not currently attached. Um, for some of you, if you are female and you're currently pregnant, 
um, just take a little bit more care of yourself and make sure you have boundaries with other people. Um, if you don't want other people to be in your orbit all the time, then you need to have those boundaries to say, look, I'm really tired. I just need to go sleep. <laughs> um, for others of you, the Empress is all about being in the energy of flow and receiving artistic creation, um, sitting and looking pretty and kind of just chilling out. So your future self wants you to know um, that you're going to be feeling a lot more open and receptive to the gifts that the universe wants to bring you. Um, you're also going to receive something over the next two weeks. This could be from a masculine if you're feminine or vice versa. Switch it. If you are masculine, it will be from a feminine. You're going to receive some sort of a gift. Um, this could be a gift of time, a gift of money, some sort of advice. Um, whatever it is, it's going to help you to improve your life and it's going to help you to feel good. Um, where she is not dressed... Um, I feel like you're also going to be coming into a time of where you're feeling a lot more confident within yourself. Your future self wants you to know that you're embracing yourself and you're embracing your body. And here with the wand, it's like you're taking your power back um, and you're just, you're just feeling really good within yourself. Um, your future self wants you to get outside into nature a lot more as well with the bare feet on the grass. They want you to go outside into nature if you can, um, in your garden um, and walk barefoot um, or walk barefoot somewhere where it's safe to. If you don't have nature nearby, buy plants and soil and start building up a little garden um, or just um, buy in certain plants like an aloe vera plant or um, a spider plant or... Um, a peace lily all of that will help to clear away the um certain like muggy energy within the home um and it helps with like mold and stuff like that um but it will just help you to feel a lot more grounded within yourself bringing nature into your own home or going out into nature but barefoot um like if you have a garden but i appreciate not everyone has a garden um or is near nature so your future self wants you to know you are opening yourself up and because you are opening yourself up you're basically going to be going through this receleration, regenerate, sorry, regeneration, and you're going through some sort of a rebirth. And um, because you're going to be so receptive, you're going to be changing things within your life. Here it says choose a new direction. You're, you're going to be, for some of you, you're moving. Um, for some of you, you, if you're at college, you're changing course. If you're at uni, you might be changing unis or uh, changing your dissertation um, or you're changing job or um, you're just choosing a new direction within your life. And it could be that you're choosing to give to yourself or you're choosing to work on your heart chakra and do heart chakra meditations to open yourself up to new love, to new um, creative, creative gifts that you have within. Um, I also feel like for some of you, um, you're going to be doing stargazing or you could be travelling somewhere where they have, um, oh, what's that thing in the sky called? Northern Lights. For some of you, your future self wants you to go somewhere where you can see the Northern Lights. If you don't have the means to do that, um, look at pictures online of the Northern Lights and it's basically going to help you just feel karma. It's going to bring you a sense of peace, looking at things to do with lights, so like the northern lights, natural lights. Um, your future self also would like you to invest in yourself in any way that you can. So um, having a self-care practice, having a meditation practice, having a fitness practice, having a healthy eating plan, um, spending time on what it is that you love daily. You don't have to do all of that. It could be one thing you do from that, but you religiously do it. So you do it daily. You're committed to it and you're committed to yourself. You are going in a new direction and the direction that you're going in, your future self is saying is for your highest good and it's part of your blueprint. It's part of your Akashic records. The journey that you're in now and you're about to embark on, you will look back in five years time and be proud of yourself that you took this step, that you took this courage to put yourself first, to have boundaries, to be receptive to what the universe is trying to bring in. You're going to be feeling so good within yourself and happy and contented. Um, 
and your future self wants you to know that you're a blessing. You are a blessing to yourself and you are a blessing to this world. And if you have children, you're also a blessing to your children. Or if you are humanitarian, you are a blessing to the universe. Or if you're someone that, um, you know, follows a vegan or vegetarian lifestyle, you're a blessing on, you know, the animals and corporations that you help out and stuff. Um, and even if you don't have any of that, you just yourself, as you are now, are a blessing. You are a blessing. So... If you don't feel like you're a blessing, it's time to start believing. Maybe work on affirmations or subliminals um, as a way to make you feel comfortable with yourself and realising who you are at your core. Because um, at your core, you're pretty amazing and your future self is coming in and saying, you will realise this. Five years time, you will look back and you'll realise it. And you'll realise how far you've come and you'll celebrate yourself and you'll celebrate your accomplishments. Um, and you'll be glad that you took this new direction. You took this path to self-evaluation. You took this path to understanding your self-identity. You took this path to finding your soul tribe, finding the true people that are meant to be in your life. Um, your higher self wants you to start going to groups, start getting out of the house, start going to public groups, whether it be, um, I don't know, a dance class, a food class, um, mother and baby group, um, any class that you're interested in, writing, poetry, sewing, um, gardening, um, working on cars, watching trains, I don't know, football class, uh, club, um, anything that you can go to that is social is also going to be for your highest good um, and it's going to bring you into alignment with other people that are on a similar path to you, that are people part of your soul tribe because we have two people in this image and you're being shown the way. So you could meet someone at this class or this group. This could also be online, but if you can do it in the physical, please do it in the physical. It's gonna be better for you. But if you only, if your only means is online, then that's totally fine as well. But whoever this person is or people is that meet you, they're gonna help you with this new direction. They're gonna help you feel more comfortable within yourself, mind, body and spirit. Um, anyway guys, I'm going to leave the reading there. Please let me know down in the comments section if you found this helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day guys. Bye bye.